all, welcome to Keisha's Gossip and Truths. In this video, I will be talking about Kelly being told to go to a fat farm. Also, James Charles being demonetized. Let's talk. This is a trigger warning. In this video, I may be talking about or showing sensitive material about some subjects or topics that may be disturbing or upsetting or may bring forth some troubling memories, as you read in the description or title. With that said, either in the video now or brace yourself. Aside from that, enjoy. As some of you may have saw over the years of Kelly Clarkson, first winning American Idol with her beautiful voice and body at the time, but something over the years something happened over the years and her weight got bigger and bigger and you know which you pretty much see now now don't get me wrong i can't talk and then many people also can't talk i've had some struggles with my weight forever and at some points in our lives you all have right if i had the kind of money like kelly has i won't have a problem with my weight i will hire a personal trainer that is one necessity i will spend my money on because it's a positive step into proving my health and maintaining my health. However, according to Globe, Kelly Clarkson has been gaining weight because of her busy schedule and ugly divorce. She was in up to 200 pounds and her friends had started to notice. An insider says the logical solution is for Kelly to check into a health and fitness firm to get recharged. But, first of all, this is a horrible story from a horrible tabloid who apparently just cruel sometimes. It's from UK. Because Globe had repeatedly called Clarkson fat while pretending to be concerned like a friend. Oh, real friends of Clarkson would never, not in a million years, talk to a hateful tabloid. And have you seen Clarkson's Instagram lately? And you can judge for yourself if she needs to go to a fat firm. Just saying, as the tabloid puts it. We all have heard of James Dirty Deeds. I talked about it in the previous video, but here's a brief recap. The idea of actually being in a relationship became so important to me that I was willing to trust too quickly, miss out on red flags, and most importantly, not take the precautionary measures that really anybody, but especially somebody with a public platform, should be taking before talking to anybody. It's always really bothered me when people would talk about conclusions or changes that they're going to make without actually talking about how they got there in the first place. In 2019, my dating life became even more public than it already was when I was called out and labeled as a predator. Pretty much I had to get on camera and prove that I was being lied to. I had all the receipts to back it up, but at the time I also recognized that I definitely needed to change the way I was going about dating because clearly something was not working. Um, and in that video, I made a vow and a promise to myself and to you guys as the audience that I will be way more careful moving forward. And that promise was not one that I kept. So you see, he had done some terrible things. So YouTube temporarily suspended monetization on his channel. But it's only for three months painting review, trust me, I know. So he could end up, you know, being up and running again before the summer ends. It was also leaked that the company of Morph that have been working with Charles since 2016 said on Twitter last week that their relationship with Mr. Charles was ending. Two other companies that Mr. Charles has worked with like Lily Lashes and Laura's Boutique refused to comment so he probably still got their endorsements. You know, let's do a review of Charles. Let's see. In less than five years, Mr. Charles, who's 21, has rocketed from Bethlehem, New York, where he grew up and where he charged friends five to ten dollars to do their makeup to celebrity status in Los Angeles on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Millions and millions of followers tune in to Mr. Charles applying makeup to himself and others, including Kylie Jenner, Lil Nas X, and Doja Cat. Then 2017, Mr. Charles has been the face of CoverGirl, attending a Met Gala, and hosted a competition show on YouTube. His, his eyeshadow palette was morph developed a cult following among Gen Z consumers causing frenzies. It was sick. That was sick. But in 2019, it seemed like Mr. Charles' rise was coming to a fall after a former mentor publicly accused him of betrayal. His following plummeted. Fans posted angry messages on his social media pages and other influencers voiced their own criticism. Video messages were flung back and forth by opposing parties. How Since the incident, his follower account on YouTube has doubled. 
and on TikTok, where he has 36.2 million followers. Mr. Charles also collaborates with the app's biggest stars, including Charlie D'Amelio and Dixie D'Amelio. And in 2020, Mr. Charles was a producer and the host of five episode YouTube competition show called Instant Influencer. The winner was promised mentorship from Mr. Charles and $50,000. So, it seems that this young, innocent, beautiful face, but yet deceiving face, will get him very far despite YouTube temporarily, temporarily, demonetization. Though, well, you know, some people are privileged. I get channel banned, he get praised. Well, that's it. Let me know what you all think below. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And hit that bell so you get notifications when I do post my videos. Love you all. See you all later. Bye.